It is Monday the 11th of December. I'm up. Everybody else is in bed. Yeah, I'm just having a quick cup of tea before I get Jen and Paul up. We've got three sales to go off today, two via every, one via Royal Mail, so I'll be getting them done quite quickly. Got five listings to get up, that's fine. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to bring down my um, IKEA bags because Jane is opening up uh, Risk of Free Fest again. Uh, so we're going to go down there and if I, as long as I can park, I will park the car and just fill up the bags with everything I can and take it and then I'll sort it when I get to Mum's another time. I will photograph some stuff today um, just to make sure that I've got enough stuff to keep doing. I mean it's free so even if I end up throwing it away what does it matter? I mean some of it will probably just end up in another donation bin somewhere and I'll keep what I want so that's fine. Um, then I'll go to Mum's and photograph as much as I can in one go so that I've got stuff to do tomorrow morning before the busy day breaks out so it's quite a lot to do today as well. I've also got to take the library books back. Um, I plan on doing that when I take my every post down which will be done before I go to Jane's to the Risk of Free Fest. So I'll take that in, get rid of that, nip into the library, then go around the corner. I can only park there for 30 minutes, which is why I'm not sorting. I'm just literally going to bung it all into a bag. So anyway, I'm going to have my cup of tea now and I'll see you a bit later. So I'm up in the office now, going to get my five drafts done. Then I'm going to go and pack my orders for today. That ready. Then Jane's Free Fest is already open, so I might go down there and see what I can get, if anything. Um, it depends. If I can park, I will. If I can't, I won't bother. Because I'm kind of like that. I, you know, I've got quite a bit of stuff to be going on with, so I'm happy with that. Um, I've got a bit of a stinking headache. I've just taken some painkillers and paracetamol to try and shift that. Hopefully it, it will work. If, if it doesn't get any better, I'll have an easy day, but I will photograph some stuff later. Maybe just about nine or ten items just to, to crack on with. So I'm going to crack on with this now, and I'll see you a bit later on when I'm at Mum and Dad's, probably. I'm just printing off my labels for every. Doing my postage ready because I'm going out. Well, I've got seven minutes left before I can leave because at 10 o'clock is my cut off for shipping the same day. Oh, it's so easy. I just go in, I buy a label, and even from eBay, I can print open it or I can just, it opens up and I can just print it straight from eBay. It's so easy. I'm just so glad I got a label printer. Thank you, Dad, for letting me have it so cheaply. Because he did, and I've just printed off my labels. One's done, and I'm just about to put the label on the second one. The other one's got a Royal Mail, which is fine. I've just got a track, I've got enough on drop and go. I should have. It's so easy, I love it. Now, what I've got to do is go to my accounts and add £4.42. Um, how? Uh, for every shipping, and yeah, happy. I'm back at Mum and Dad, finally, later than normal, because don't ask. First of all, they've put four-way lights at the bottom of Mum's streets on the roundabout. So it's a nightmare to get in that frisker. So when I came down, I actually went over past my street, up over Woodview, down Mill Street. When I went to drop my post off at the one stop, which is where I dropped the uh, every post off, the key broke in my car. Now, it's not broken that I can't use it. It's just come out of it housing. So it's very awkward. So I need to get one cut. Now, at Timmerson's, they've it's quoted me 79 quid for just for the basic, not even for the guts. I don't want the guts, I don't use the central lock-in because it fell out yonks ago. <clears throat> Literally, it's just for the blade and for it to be housed in something so that I can use it. Now there is one down by here, but he's not open today, called the Cobbler's Cabin. So he's open tomorrow, so uh, I'll pop in tomorrow around 10-ish uh, and see what he can quote me, what he can do. And I'll just say to him, I just literally need the blade and it attached to something so I can use the key. I don't need the central lock-in. It's literally just the blade I need in a, on a housing of some description. But of course car keys are thicker than house keys, so I don't know. I might have to suck it up and pay 79 quid. But I, don't know, I need it. It's just a nightmare at the moment. It works but it's fiddly. So I'm up here, I've got all the stock up here. Um, I got another two bags from Jane's. 
uh, from the, the charity shop that's closed in their warehouse. Now, I don't know what condition it's in. I'm not worried about that. I just grabbed a load. So I'm going to photograph the stuff that was left here from the previous time. So that stuff from uh, Scope and the first time I went down to Jane's and got a few bits for you. Uh, not a huge amount, but a few bits. And then I might start going through the bags and sorting it out into bits. But I think I've got about 10 items, two of which need washing. I've got a bag here that's got some stuff for me and Paul and Jen in it. I've got this. This is from Sainsbury's and it's a hoodie and it fits me so I'm keeping it. I'll never ever find anything that fits me. Um, <clears throat> I've got a bag over there of stuff for donations. It's mostly just paint t-shirts, scars, things that I'm not going to use. A bag of stuff that doesn't need to be washed <laughs> that I photographed. An empty Ikea bag for when I come and photograph some more, which will be tomorrow, and it'll be all this, and I'll just go in it and I'll wash it as and when. I have been through all of these. There's just two big Ikea bags and one small Lidl's bag, and that's all fine. And I've still got all that to just, just to check through, just to see what's in there, because sometimes you, you don't know what it is. Um, I've picked up stuff because I, I was just grabbing stuff and there was kids stuff in there. It's too small for Jen. I did find one dress that's is six or seven. So, and it's a summer dress. So that's going to, she can have that and we can use it when we're on holiday. It's very thin, but it's a summer dress. So again, something for a shirt for Paul I found. I think there's another shirt for Paul somewhere in one of these bags. There's another top for me somewhere. I'm going to go downstairs and have some lunch now before I go and get Jen and drop my other parcel down to the parcel shop. I am so hot and I'm tired. It is literally just half past two. I've got 40 minutes before I have to pick up Jen. I've been, I took my dad over to Aldi because he wanted to get some stuff to make a stew, which is fine. And then I just came up uh, home because his road works at the end of his street. So I went up over the hill and came back down that way. Um, I'm having fun with my car key, obviously. Uh, did I show you it? Yeah this has happened so it still fits in the body but it comes out <laughs> this is not snapped in half I'd be in real trouble then I've just got to make sure I keep it safe so when I get home it will go in my purse tomorrow I'll be going to the cobbler's cabin because they do key cut in there and they have in the past done car keys I know if I go to Timpson's it's going to cost me around 79 quid if it has to cost me that it has to cost me that but I need it same day I can't not have it same day I've got to have it same day but I would walk over anyway from my mum's and see but I'll try the cobbler's cabin first because that's actually opposite the chemist and I've got to pick up a prescription as well I popped into the charity shop to buy some books bought eight for two pounds <laughs> very happy um I did photograph like I said, some of the stuff and I found a top for myself a hoodie for myself another shirt for Paul if he wants it and another dress for Jen so that's all coming home with me to be washed along with some stuff I've got to measure to get listed because I've lost one of my books. It will turn up. It's there somewhere. It's not gone anyway. So I'm just going to sit and read for a bit because I'm tired. I just opened her Christmas cards. So I'm just move that bag out of the way. It's empty. I'm going to show you my chocolate. And now she's going to get the chocolate out of her advent calendar. What number are we on? 11. Yay. It's almost Christmas. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So as you can tell, I'm back home. Dad, Jen, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a silly Billy, aren't you? I want to show you all my chocolate that I had. Come on then. So, where's the number one? Well, you don't need to show them all. I'm sure they've seen an advent calendar before. Oh, I'm so tired. Mm. Where are you? Where are you? I'm sure they've seen an advent calendar before. Come down here. So you open it all. Yeah. Do you open it them all up. Open it all up. Oh, I feel dizzy, I do. Right, number four. Yeah, and what one are we on today? Number eleven. Eleven. Yeah. That's up here. Oh, there's number five. And there's number eleven next to it. Number eleven. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, there's number five. And the cat looks interested. No, not all the ones that I have. Right, well open up number eleven then. Let's see what you get today. I think it is right here. Mm-hmm. Because I saw it. I'll have to tidy up this floor. It's getting messy again. Oh, I opened it. What chocolate do I get? It looks like a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. Did you get it out? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a Christmas tree. And there's a Christmas tree. And now it's in Jennifer's gob. I Put that I... back later, all right? Oh. Bit the top of the tree. I, I... What's happening tomorrow, Jen? Which will play. It's a cool concert, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you good in it? 
-hmm. What'd you say? Nothing. All right. Well, I hope you don't forget tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>